So I spent today with Sam from Apple Track and Norm from Tokyo Lens wandering around Tokyo's electronics district and I picked up a big old bag of weird, interesting and very, very cheap Japanese tech. There's also a shop here though that just has a ton of weird stuff, almost as if direct from China. Oh, so we'll oh, oh yeah. We're gonna go through and test some of these things. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm really excited. We got a fake Apple Watch in here. We got a little robot guy that lights up your room. We've got this uh, GoPro knockoff that I paid $10 for. You can tell why. I even got this telephoto lens that clips onto your iPhone. This is some pretty good tech and I honestly need to make sure that all of this extremely valuable technology is protected and that's why today's video sponsor Lemonade is here to help. Lemonade offers renter's insurance that could cover your stuff starting at $5 a month and you can add extra coverage for specific valuable things like all of this. Sign up is super fast and easy so check out the links in the description below. Let's actually get started here with this big boy, which I've been hiding from you because I'm actually really, really excited for it. This is something that I've actually always wanted. It's a solar panel that you can use to charge your phone. <laughs> I mean, come on. Now, according to the box here, the only thing that I can understand is that it has a six watt charging power. So theoretically, in peak conditions, we can get six watts out of this bad boy. This is very cheap. Oh wow, I can see the way the soldering points have sort of bled onto the solar cells. This could not be more simple, right? We've got a solar panel on the front and a wire coming out the back that goes to a USB port. That That's it. I'm actually super curious to see if this thing is gonna work. So I've got it directly in the sun and it's just a USB port. So I got my lightning plugged into it. Let's plug an iPhone in and see if it, oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, we're at 30%. It is currently 11.04, so let's let this charge and we'll see how fast it is. Okay, it is now 12.47. I had to move it to keep the panel in the sun. Let's check our battery percentage. Oh no, 23, okay. <laughs> so it has not only not charged, it's actually gone down and it's losing charge faster than it would just sitting there. So not only does the solar panel not work, it actually drains your battery faster. Oh boy. Wow, what an amazing success or failure. Anyway, let's move on to this guy, a robot little guy that lights up. Okay, um, what is powering this? Why did it turn on? It's, I've, I've decapitated him. Oh no. How does this have charge? How does this work? Oh my God, that's actually kind of, I kind of like this. The head is magnetic. It's just a little, little guy. You know, for six bucks, it's, it's just a, it's an LED. I spent $6 on an LED. It's kind of cute. Oh fuck. Okay, so next up, well, it's an Apple Watch, but I paid $9 for it. So Apple thinks they're cool with the Apple Watch SE at like $270. <laughs> I'm saving 261 bucks, so let's see what we got. That's, there is a watch in here. Kinda, wow. There's nothing else. Wait a minute. There's no charger. It has contacts. Holy crap. This is USB. The whole watch just plugs into a USB port. Hey, oh, Norm, I need a power brick. Do you have one? Oh, there we go. That'll do. Oh my God, it's turning on. Oh, it's got a charge. Okay, let's go ahead and let this boy charge and we'll move on. Okay, this next one is a personal favorite of mine. It's a USB humidifier. Yeah, that's right. This goes in a cup of water Wow, the, the packaging is very, very simple. 
If only I had a glass of... Oh, wow! Look at that! Thanks, Norm! What a guy. <laughs> okay, well, there's, there's no buttons, so I guess I'll just put it in the water and... I'm pretty sure you're about to electrocute yourself. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> that actually scared me. But you know what? It's humidifying. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That looks great on camera. I just have a little steam here. Oh, that's amazing. You know what's also amazing is uh, today's video sponsor, Lemonade. I've actually used them for a number of years. I got my policy back in 2021. Lemonade makes things super quick and easy, and if you do end up buying a bunch of very valuable technology like I have, Lemonade could cover it. If this is something you want to look into, check out my link, lemonade.com slash Luke, in the description below. It's quick and easy to get a quote. And that's good because I would say this is worth about five grand, even though I got it for the low, low price of, I think, four dollars. Okay, so theoretically, this should be like a little kit. Oh my God, it's got a tripod. Look at that. We've got a little very crappy tripod, a phone grip of some sort. Oh, I see what this is. Okay, wow. It has a compass on top. That's, that's useful. And now I will start a screen recording. Of course, freaking Apple is, is just not using the correct lens. Oh, oh dear. I mean, it is zoomed in, but it's really bad. Okay, we're going outside. Oh, you're getting focused. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. So it does kind of work. I think it would work better on the telephoto lens during the day outside and very, very far away. Um, so it's it's <laughs> very <laughs> specific. <laughs> yeah. On Tuesdays. Next. <laughs> All right, so next up we've got one that I'm really excited for, and this is the amazing HD 1080p, HD 720p, and 960p action camera. Look at these amazing features. You can wear it, you can mount it, you can love it, and you can enjoy it. <laughs> I'm not kidding, that's what it says on the box. Aw, action cam. You shouldn't have. All right, let's get in here. This, I think, was nine dollars gopro wow that's a lot of stuff for nine dollars it charges via micro usb we've got like a knockoff gopro style uh mounting thing here a strap uh, another mounting th i don't even know what i'm looking at there's a tripod plate with what looks like a quick release mount this is kind of fancy how do you open this Norm! Oh, perfect! Oh, Norm got it. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I mean, it's an old school GoPro looking thing. What does this door do? Is there like a battery for it in there somewhere? It literally hurts to try and open it. Oh, it does have a tiny, tiny. The battery feels three, hollow. Three. It's 900 milliamp hours. That's a lie. That is a hollow battery. Yeah. Like. That is how light that battery is. That's a quality item. I think I'm gonna have to juice this up for a little bit. So while I'm doing that, let's get back to the Apple Watch. Okay, so it just clips right on there. And look at that. Um, okay, what does it do? How do you even set the time? The time is wrong. Now hang on. On the back it says, smart Bluetooth watch, accurate pedometer, Deeply life waterproof. No, no, it has a fake heartbeat sensor, but it just says zero because it's not real. It's starting a running workout. Now I do actually have another exciting accessory and that is these LED neon sunglasses. And I'm actually very excited for these. Oh yeah, that's excellent. Oh gosh, that plastic is sharp. I think I cut my ear. Oh yes, look at those 
Can you even see the LEDs? They're real dim. It says yay in Japanese. Fireworks. Oh, I cool. see. Oh. I push the button and it Hearts. cycles. Yay, a second time. Dollar signs. Dollar signs, that's a real thing. Mm. I mean, come on. For $6.90? Ooh, fireworks. That's cool. Okay, I've saved the best for last, and that is this tiny, tiny camera. Now, this on the box is billed as the world's smallest camcorder. I don't think that's accurate, but let's see how small it is. You know, I will give them credit. This is pretty tiny. I don't know if this is recording or not, but hello. I did get the HD 1080p action camera working though. Look at this bad boy. Oh yeah, sports camera, let's go. Wow, look at that frame rate and quality. It's so zoomed in. How could this possibly be an action camera? I mean, look at that lamp. Look at it on my camera and look at it on the action camera. It does record though, I think. Record though, I think. So let's see how good this sounds. Does it even have a microphone? Am I even in the frame? Uh, let me... And breaking news, I got this guy working too. It's almost indecipherable, but I think you hold it down to turn it on and then press the button once to take a picture. I have a bunch of weird pictures of my face. Um, oops. And then if you hold it down, it starts recording. And this is what it looks like. Wow, what a tiny little camcorder. It's kind of cool and retro in a way. Am I in the frame? Does it work? Who's to say? I certainly don't have any idea. Oh, and by the way, Neither of these are 1080p. Look, they're both 640 by 480 at 30 FPS, and even that's being generous. Anyway, let's get back into the video. You know what, guys? I think this was a pretty successful haul. I've got a solar power plant that I can use to charge all of my wonderful accessories here. I'm nice and humidified, and chewing through my cup of water quite quickly here, actually. So I would say a highly, highly successful day in Akihabara and a big thanks to Norm from Tokyo Lens for showing me around and showing me this place that he's been to a million times. Yeah, yeah, and but literally never bought any of this stuff. For arguably good reason. Thank Not you. had a good day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my ro oh, my lens fell on my robot! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out Norm's channel, which I'll have linked in the description below, and I'll see you all in the next one.